Hey guys, Big Wheel coming at you from the Plastic Rod Shop. Tell you what, been raining around here. Didn't work today. Can't work out in that lightning and rain. It's been pretty bad. So, I've been home. I've been at the bench. I've been working on my truck. That redneck gasser that I've been working on with for um, Chevy Trunk Month with Heath over at the Southern Fried Rod Shop. Heath, I've got her done, buddy. It looks good. Truck came out good because it was about to go into trash. <laughs> nah, I'd never thrown it in trash. Um, <clears throat> I've painted it three times. Purple ponded it twice. But, got paint all straightened out on it. It looks good. I don't know. The humidity is terrible. It's just terrible. Um, I wanted to touch base with you guys. Congratulations to all you guys out there. For the, cranker, the Dr. Cranky calendar. Some awesome, some awesome guys on there. Very good builders. Um, so, good stuff. And, seen some people coming back, some people coming back to the bench, coming back to the bench making videos. Rusty K was on there tonight. He was cleaning his bench off, getting ready. Welcome back, Rusty. I'm um, glad to see people getting back into it. it. Gives me more videos to watch. Um, Roadhog has got that cancer awareness uh, build going on there. Um, Going to be a part of that. Uh, me and my wife picked out the kit tonight out of my stash. I'm going to be doing this one right here. 67 Chevelle. So... Looks like it's going to be a pretty good kit. It's kind of like the Pro Street version, but it don't have the um, big fat tires on it. Um, <clears throat> it's going to be kind of it's going to be kind of like on the picture, but different colors, lowered down a little bit. It's going to be pretty sharp. Um, a lot of great builds going on out there. I just got done watching Papa Dan's Models 2. He's doing that diorama. It's going to be pretty nice. I think he's going he's gonna, to he's gonna look at that picture that he's got. It's cool. But he, I think he's going to do, do it right. It's going to look just like that picture. So, um, got that, got the Chevelle build. I got the Mustang. I'm waiting on a body for it. Um, I got a couple other builds that I might do coming up. I got another truck up there, Chevy truck. I need to finish it. It's a four wheel drive. I, I made a suspension and everything for it. Um, I might get it down sometime in the next couple months to get it done. But yeah, I won't keep you guys much longer. I won't burn your ears up. And I will get to showing you. The Chevy truck that I just finished, the ga the redneck gasser, that's what I'm calling it. Kind of like a shop truck type deal. Um, so, let me get at it. Alright guys, here's my redneck gasser. It's just like a just mean looking old truck. I took a lot of parts and just throwed this together. Um, it came out good. I'm pretty happy with it. Had to paint it three times, but come out good. So you got your zoomies. It's lifted in the front. You get small rally rims, and then you got your big rally deep dish reels. I made those myself. Um, got CB antennas on both sides. Got your air horns. 
um, put a roll cage in it. Got the cow inducted hood. Made that myself. Um, I just got finished with it. Got the bumper all cocked up here. Put that back down. There we go. Um, did a lot of decals on this. Just took a bunch of decals out of my um, out of my decal box. It says Hank's Hot Rods. And you got all the stickers that a redneck can find to put on his truck. So let me grab his camera and I'll take you around and show you some of the stuff. Hold on one second. Alright guys. Alright. We got the we got the wooden bumper on the front. I detailed that up. An electric fan inside there, inside the grill. We got all the stickers. You see the roll cage? There's the antennas for the CV. We got the air horns. Focus. Mm, don't seem to want to focus. Um. But, and then, we'll turn it around here. Got the big, big meats on the back. You got a sticker on, on the, sticker on there. Got the big hillbilly bumper on it. Goes all the way across the back. I uh, got the Chevy sick sticker in the window. We got a extra gas tank, a chrome one at that. We got some. We got a four way. We got some old batteries. We got a, some Coca Cola cans. So we got some mason jars right there. We got some moonshine in there. Got a fuel cell. Got the line running to it. We got a. Sorry about the shakiness, guys. Fire extinguisher right there. You can see it. Fire extinguisher. We'll go inside here. We get the shifter. And if you can see the. There's the roll cage in the bagger. Sorry, guys. We'll just. want to show you everything. Got the roll cage. It comes down. Down in front of the seats, down underneath the dash. Got the wooden bumper on the front. I thought that was pretty cool. Like I said, it's just a little redneck gasser. Kind of like a shop truck deal. Then we go down here to the big block. Big fours. Wired. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Like I said, it was a fun, fun build. Heath, they were we doing that Chevy truck month now. I couldn't get it finished because I messed the paint up. But I finally got some paint on it and it looks damn good. And that's it right there, boys. She's a redneck hillbilly hot rod so tell me what you guys think this is big will coming at you from the plastic rod shop yeah talk at you later